Hi everyone, welcome to Sarah Robin's channel. I'm Sarah Robin. In this video, I'm going to explain you about integration problem, which is related to the uh, area and the graph subtopic of the integration topic, uh, which is under the calculus topic. And also, this problem is from IGCSE uh, Spectrum and Paper 2020, Paper 1, Addition and Mathematics, Code Number 0606. Okay. Let's do it right now. Here we go. Okay. You see that quadratic equations and the uh, straight line equations, okay, those two uh, graphs are intersecting one another at A and B. At A and B. Here we go A and then here we go B. So how are we going to approach this problem is you should think about which function is above to form and close region. Okay. I'm going to show you. If you're going to connect E and B, you will have this straight line. Okay, which is a part of y is equal to x plus 10. Alright, so to become this region. So straight line must be above the quadratic function. You have to know, you have to notice this one first. Okay, if you if you have this idea, so you will get the answer quickly and efficiently. Right, so you might have another way or alternative ways. It's okay. So you can do the way you like. Uh, main idea is to get the correct answers. So I'm gonna show you the efficient way to get the answer quickly. Right. Okay, to calculate this region, this area, so we are going to subtract the area of OABC, trapezium area, and then we are going to find the area and the graph OABC also, this one, right? This one, so this shader region. So you can do like that by separating two regions. So if you want to do like this, so you, you might do the another way to get the enclosed region or the boundary area of line and graph. So I'm going to show you the direct calculation for this area, okay? First of all, we are going to find the upper limit and lower limit. Otherwise, we, can, we are not able to find the area exactly, right? So we cannot give the answer in numerical value. That's why we just need to find the upper limit and lower limit. So we already know the lower limit because those two lines are intersecting at y as x. Obviously, x value must be zero, isn't it? So we just need to find the coordinates of b. Okay, that's why we just need to equate quadratic equation and the linear equation. So x squared minus four x plus ten must be equal to x plus ten. This is linear. This is quadratic. Okay, so fortunately we can directly delete the constant term and then x squared minus 4x minus x is equal to 0. Oh no, x squared minus uh, 5x, right? Negative 4x and then this x becomes negative x, 5x equal to 0, x times x minus 5 equal to 0. So that's going to be x is equal to 0 or x is equal to Five x is equal to zero. We already know this is for a. X is equal to five. So in fact, this is for b, right? This is for b coordinate. We don't need to find the y coordinate either, uh, because you know. So we are not finding coordinates of the points exactly. So we are now finding the limits, right? Which will be helpful to find the area of the enclosed region. Okay. So that's good enough for us. x is equal to 0, x is equal to 5. Therefore, we can write down the area is equal to, okay, lower limit is 0, upper limit is 5. And then line equation is x plus 10 minus quadratic equation is x squared minus 4x plus 10. Never forget to use the parentheses. Otherwise, this means another way. Okay. Dx. Okay, this is going to be the easiest way to get the answer quickly, right? So 0 to 5 and then x plus 10 minus x squared plus 4x minus 10 dx. 
0 to 5 and then negative x squared is going to be first and the x and positive 4x is going to be 5x and then the a positive term and negative term must be deleted and then x dx. So we can integrate to this given this this expression right now. So negative x squared is going to be negative a squared and then uh, so we have to increase the power by one so it becomes three and then divide by new power which means that one over three multiply by one over three plus five x squared so x to the power five x to the power one okay, increase by one it becomes two and then divide by new power here we go and then upper limit is five lower limit is zero now we guess we are going to substitute upper limit five into the given expressions or the integrated functions so it becomes in the negative 5 cubed, negative 1, 2, 5 over 3. And the plus 5 squared and the 5 is going to be 1, 2, 5, 2 over 2. And the minus, when you start to do 0 into this expressions, all is going to be 0. Right? That's why we, 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 can, we can ignore it. So we just need to combine these two fractions only. Right? <laughs> so it's it will become uh, 6, right? So the final answer must be 125 over 6. By the calculator, you can combine these two fractions. Okay, this is the final answer. Okay, you, in this problem, one thing you have to know is that um, you have to check which one is above. What I mean is the which function is above to form a closed region. Okay? If you could check exactly so you can easily work out the problem efficiently in short time. Okay? I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and then see you again.